I'm Stephen Cohen. I'm standing on the Darcy Dalton Way in North Oxfordshire, and on both sides of me is Bright Hill Wood. This is a wood I planted 20 years ago in about 12 acres uh, attached to Bright Hill Farm. I got a grant for this wood, and uh, actually part of the condition of the grant was that it would be properly maintained, which is why initially we started the process here of pruning and, and thinning, and then we got carried away and it's turned into a project where we're not simply trying to maintain the wood, we actually are trying to create a thing of beauty. The Whispering Knights are uh, um, probably a stone dolmen built about 3500 BC as the entrance to a burial ground. There are all kinds of wonderful legends about the stones here, such that, that it was uh, uh, actually an army from a king in southern England who walked up the hill and he and his men were turned into stone by a witch they met at the top of the hill. And his knights, which were here were also turned into stone and that's why they're called the Whispering Knights. So in the middle of Bright Hill Wood here you can see all these extraordinary structures and it all started a bit of a, a, as an accident and as we did more and more of them we thought we began to discover what elaborate structures we could make and again as we decided that we wanted to focus uh, um, around the Whispering Knights you can see that particularly in the neighbourhood around here there are a lot of structures. Um, on the other side of the track from where I'm standing, it's really just a, 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 a beautiful mounds. In this area, a year ago, it was dense, dense uh, um, forest. It may look still pretty crowded, but we've taken out a lot of trees here and let in a lot of light. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. The survival rate on the trees was very, very high. Uh, maybe 95%, whereas normally you'd expect 65-70%. So you can see in some areas uh, 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 where the trees are really very close together indeed, uh, that's where we haven't thinned, and you can see the need for thinning because mature trees need space. Here obviously is a less good oak tree, it's got a, a wiggle in it because this has been cut off, it had obviously forked earlier on, and what we're trying to do is to select the better trees get rid of the rubbish ones um, with the even with the better trees try to encourage them to grow in a good shape and then bit by bit end up with a series of mature mainly hardwoods the other thing of course is, is that the wood is absolutely teeming with animals and uh, the, the mounds have definitely helped in terms of creating lots of habitat for birds but it's it's almost deafening out here early in the morning we can hear now lots and lots of birds, but this is maybe one-tenth of what it can be sometimes in terms of, of bird noise out here. There's very often deer to be found in the wood. Um, they come in uh, and there's a, a, a group at the moment of about uh, three adults and two babies that live in the centre of the wood most of the time. There's an owl who flies through the wood sometimes you can see at dusk. Um, there are buzzards that, that live here, and we can see also that, that all these little hawthorn saplings which have sprung up everywhere, and a lot of which we've cut down, are all a result of birds sitting in the tops of trees, eating hawthorn berries, and then dropping the seeds, and that's what's created a lot of the brambles in the wood and so forth. But uh, over the years, I think the, the idea has developed and we've become ever more enthusiastic and even indeed compulsive about the whole project. And I hope it's something that, that people are going to enjoy as they walk through on the footpath, as they visit the Whispering Knights and the Rollwright Stones, 
and they like what we've done. Thank you.